Hello everybody. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how to do the long division, but this time it's going to be long division with uh, decimals in it. So let's have a look at the numbers. All right. So the very first one shows 50 decimal 54 divided by 8.3. Well, the first thing is that you do set it up the same way as when you have numbers without decimals to begin with. So I'm going to just write num question number one, and I have 5054. Notice I haven't put the decimals in yet. And then I'm going to divide that by the 83. Well, first thing, or 8.3. So I didn't put the decimals in, and the reason is, is because I need to move the decimal place from here over. Because when you divide by a decimal, it makes it very difficult. So I want to multiply that by 10. And if I multiply this by 10, I also have to multiply that by 10. So you've got the same thing happening. So I need to move this over one place, and I, that's why I multiply it by 10. And that moves it out of the way. So now this decimal is after the number. That's what I want. So if I did that, move that one place, and this decimal has to move one place. So instead of after the zero, it's going to be after the second five and right before the four. And then you place that decimal above. All right, now I'm ready to start doing this long, or long division. So what you've got here is first of all, 505 divided by 83. Oh, yikes, that looks pretty big. And the big thing about, um, about long division really is about estimation. So you've got to get really good at estimating. So the first thing I'm going to say here is, all right, so pretend you didn't have that 83 because that makes it really difficult. Sort of put your hand over that three. And if you do that, put your hand over here. Well, we know for sure it can't go in 50. So you need um, 83 into 505. But let's take off the last digit and just to say eight into 50. That will allow you to make a type of, of guess, all right? So eight into 50, that's probably about six times because eight times seven would be 56 and eight times six is 48. So I'm going to try six. Sometimes when you try something, it doesn't quite work and you find out it's too big of a number, but let's try six because that's pretty close. So notice I'm doing now 83. So I have to put it into 505. I'm not just putting eight into 50. I'm actually putting 83 into 505. I just did the eight into 50 so that I could do a guesstimation right away. Okay, now 83 into 505. So that would go six times. Six times 83. Six times three is 18. Carry the one. Six times eight plus one is 49. So then I will subtract that. And when I subtract that, I'm going to have to practice my subtraction here. So I've got basically 505 subtract 489, 498. Now you can think about adding up. So 498 to 500 is 2 plus another 5 is 7. So you know that's going to be 7. Now, if you wanted to cross off, you would have crossed off the 15, put 49, and, and carried the 5. So you have 15, subtract 8, but it's 7. Okay, now let's pull down the 4. Now, 83 into 74, mm, you can't take any groups of 83 out of 74. So we're going to say 0. 0 times 83 is 0, and you're left with a remainder of 74. And that's fine. Okay, 